are new on the scene, so it might be that they are, they've been swimming a very long time, but those times they've clearly, they're good swimmers. But yeah, that whole atmosphere of a major championship really can throw you in that. The whole call room thing is completely different. So when the pressure's on for the medals, it's not always as easy to churn out the fast times. Uzbekistan swimmers will have their own personal rivalry. And there's a few personal rivalries here in this one. A few experienced campaigners taking the start here. As well as a few young pretenders, I suppose we can call them. It's the hand of freestyle for the S4 class. It is a combined event. There's Roman Zadanov, 17 years of age. Derabinski in lane six. There's David Smetanin in lane five. <laughs> what can the Frenchman do? He has had a great rivalry over the years with a number of the swimmers in here. There's Nelson Lopez, the home swimmer in lane eight. He's an experienced man. The Europeans in uh, 2014 after something like 15 years of trying to be on the medal podium Nelson Lopez was fantastic there that you just saw there Ricard, uh, Richard Oribe a world record holder in the S4 class with the bald head of Spain him and David have had a very strong rivalry for a number of years and uh, for David Rio would be his fourth Paralympic Games for Richard Oribe it will be his seventh he makes it. That's more than us combined. I know, eh? Well, maybe not, actually. No, no, we'd still outrank him, wouldn't we? I don't know. How many did you go to? Five. Oh, yeah, no, we, we win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yay for your experience. <laughs> <laughs> Different starts here. We have a couple of the lower classes here. Danienko in S2 in lane zero. And Makarov in lane one is an S3. All the rest are S4s. Again, I think this one is one that could be wide open. We've got the experience of Aribe and Smetanin. We've got Zdanov, the youngster from Russia in lane four. We've got Darko Duric, who won two golds in the World Champs in 2013, but really hasn't performed at any other championships. It's a very wide open field. And as we've discussed throughout the morning, these lower classifications, if something happens they're a little under the weather or they, they get a little niggle or a little injury, it can really offset the whole balance of their stroke, of their preparation. So we can see a massive differentiation in the times that they're capable of and the times that they actually are able to put out on the day. Well, we shall see if Stanov can continue this one. The one and only heat of this one, we only have to drop one swimmer, of course. But, as we said, all to play for here with all these guys. Donald is going to be leading them home there in lane number four. Maybe in second position, possibly two lanes up there. Dervinsky. Donald will take that one in 127. It's Darko Duric actually in lane three who gets the touch in uh, 128.86. The Slovenian swimmer there in lane number three is done off the Russian in lane four, taking that one. And Darko Duric should be pleased with that one. He, his entry time of 1.30, he's improved on that, 128.86. Maybe a, in for another good championships for Darko Duric. Again, a big chance. We've seen a number of the, the swimmers from the small teams, they have kind of one kind of standard bear, the one person they look to to claim a medal for their country. Yeah, definitely. And then they, they really set the tone then, and people try to aspire to them nationally. And that's when we see the the countries grow and their, quali their, their success really developed. It's two different types of stroke get on here. We saw in the middle lanes, the majority of people were swimming on their front and doing freestyle, but then we saw a single arm backstroke, a double arm backstroke, and actually, the times aren't too dissimilar, and we're in for a really close race this evening. 
Well, there are the results of that heat. Number one, Zdanov, Durich, Dervinsky, Smetany, Pomisil, all under the 130 mark. A rebate, he'll go faster tonight, that's sure. I'm sure about that. The experienced campaigner and Nelson Lopez claims a final place in the final. He'll be pleased with that one, local man. Can he get on the medal podium again? Backstroke is probably his uh, best discipline. As uh, you said, Liz, he was doing the backstroke.